Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another episode. Um, I've changed the uh, texture pack mid-season. <laughs> I've gone for the uh, the faithful one, but it's it's just like the original, only uh, it's in high definition, so it looks nice. I like it anyway for now. <laughs> so going overdrawn quite a bit due to the minor, um, so I might have to fire them again a bit. <laughs> get some more houses built so we can get the rent coming in. I think I should have enough now to, to make a, a second pulverizer because I've got this one sort of reserved for just doing uh, uh, the various ores and then smelting them straight away and then pumping them to this chest here. Uh, they're just collecting in here for now but um, as soon as I get some red power stuff I can uh, just pump it out of here maybe under the ground and straight into the, uh, the ores. So there's a lot of manual swapping at the moment so I'd like to kind of automate that. There's lots of different solar panels um, they're from industrial craft and they're the red power ones, the flat ones. Um, so for this stuff um, we've got the nickelite but we need to slice the silicon and that's the expensive bit because you need a diamond hacksaw two diamonds how many diamonds have we got? zero and I've counted them twice got plenty of nickelite but uh, so I'm going to have to wait for that but we could do the, uh, the actual tubing and the transposer to actually get things pumping around as well because uh, that's just brass which is copper and tin I think so let's have a look, see if I can build a second pulverizer, just so I've got it ready really. Um can't remember the recipe. A couple of flint, I made a machine block. Red room stone reception. That's golden two thingies. Added a few more labels so this is all the build crafting ex expansion thermal expansion stuff so we've got that um, that shouldn't be in there really <laughs> um, not a lot else really uh, let's have a look got quite a bit of gold now I'll make a few of those lots of redstone so what was it that in the middle and yeah so that's the redstone reception used in a lot of uh, thermal expansion machines um, so I'll just grab a few there what else do I need some copper two flint and a piston hmm where's the f I don't think I've got any flint gravel somewhere, I can't remember where. Let me beam down to the mine and uh, see what we've got. That's another thing as well, I want to, instead of uh, having, a, <laughs> having a, an employee, a uh, courier, actually fetch stuff, I want to build a pipe so it goes straight up from this chest right into the house instead of having to come down here. Flint, there we go, take the lot. Take some of these ores as well while I'm here. And a nickelite. Not sure why it's not stacked that. <laughs> Weird. came down here early and found another lava pit just right in front of where they're going to mine so I pulled some lava out and then just cobbled it over just because <laughs> I think the, the mine is up to level 7 now so kind of don't want to lose her in a, in a pit of lava because we're getting lots of stuff coming through real quick now right I'll just get up to the surface and see you in a, a little while 
Just found a bug with the uh, the shepherd. Well, Hello. It's, it's not really a bug. Hello. <laughs> so we can get on there. Just fire in for a minute. Um, because the wolf's got in, it's just uh, <laughs> confusing them a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna have to build either a bigger fence or something. I don't know what yet. make lots of these uh, really <laughs> somebody just fell off something <laughs> make as many of these as I can because you use them lo lots of different machines uh, yeah 32 is a nice number it's a family of crickets somewhere some copper. I may have to kill these crickets. <laughs> That's the pulverizer. Oh, they've gone. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to rearrange this as well. Um, so I think I'll just pull it forward. Just turn that off. I will just sleep through the night as well. We need the... Need the rent. <laughs> By the uh, the miner for a bit, I think. Mm. Mm. Right, so I just want to rearrange things in um, a little bit. Now these machines you can take up with a pickaxe, or you can get a uh, a wrench to do it as well. It just is it quicker though. Um, it's not like industrial craft where if you don't use a wrench you end up like breaking it. So I'll need some more electrical um, conductive pipe. If I remember how to do that. Is it that way around? Nope. <laughs> Glass in the middle. Shouldn't really use a my gold. I think that will do. And then you just add a some redstone to make it conductive. Right, so I've laid them out just slightly forward from where I had them. So this is the pulverizer into the furnace, and then I'll have a chest here. Might as well place that there. And then a, a second pulverizer where I can just get the dust. And I can even optionally pump it back into this chest as well. So just wire it up round the back. Probably didn't need that many anyway. Just put some stuff back in. We'll need to turn the engines on. Okay, so that should uh, just carry on. I think I had a chest just here as well. It's just handy to have uh, stuff that needs to be processed right near the machine. Make sure I've got it set up right as well. So I'll just close all these. And shall make that yellow. So what that'll do is the output of dust will go to the right where the furnace is, and then the, the you get an op optional random bit of dust as well in there, and that will just pump back into this chest for now. 
and then the furnace that's already set up we'll just close these off yeah that's right so the furnace stuff will go into that chest there we'll just stick that in there for now because I'll need some uh, I think it's copper and tin dust and you arrange that to make um, brass I think it's those two uh, and you need the brass to make the red power tubing which is really cool stuff definitely want some of that so, as soon as possible because uh, it just basically allows you to pump things all around automatically and just see uh, I think it's brass yeah it's brass there I don't think it tells you the recipe though, it just says brass blend brass, brass blend. <laughs> ah, what's that? Ah, I can make an alloy furnace. That's from Red Power the alloy furnace. I think that might be the way to go, because then I can put copper and tin straight in there to make the brass. So let's have a look at alloy furnace then. There's two types, one that runs on electric, which I haven't got any electric yet, or just the regular one that runs on coal. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> I think we've got the bricks somewhere, because I got some clay earlier on. Uh, I just stuffed them in here. Yeah. There we go. That's a red power alloy furnace. Where can I put that? I'll stick it on the top of these, I think. So it's it's like like lots of shapeless recipes. You just throw the bits in, and it'll make the relevant uh, thing. You use that quite a bit in red power. So what did I need? Copper and tin. Copper and tin. Throw some of that in, and straight away it's recognised that as a recipe. And there we go, brass. And I've got some. Oh, I've got some glass as well. So I'll just make a few now. So they're relatively cheap to make. Let's see if we can remember the way around. They go. Is it glass on the outside? Nope. <laughs> there we go. So it's brass on the outside and then glass on the inside. And that will make eight pneumatic tubes from Red Power. And that's got 32. That's not bad. I'll let that cook and uh, can get some more. But yeah, this, this pipe, it's just used for moving items around. Um, hang on a minute. Let's turn that off. Right, so the tube in itself won't work um, as it is. You need a, something to push it, or well, suck it out of a chest and um, pump it somewhere else. So I'm going to need a transposer for that. I hope they're fairly cheap. <laughs> this, these are the cheapest type. There's various ways you can do it as well. There's, a, there's relays and all sorts of good stuff. Like, like I say, pistons are used in a lot of mods, that's why I made loads of those. But yeah, we can definitely afford that. Um, I'll grab a few of these actually, because they are used a lot. Uh, well, I do. I, I like to use them a lot anyway. Um, cobblestone. Getting a bit low on that. I might have to get the miner to uh, get some of that when I re-employ them. <laughs> Right, transposer. Oh, we need redstone. I'll make it on. Actually, don't. It's a bit buggy on the transferring of recipes. Because I can never remember them, even if, if I've just seen them. <laughs> just throw a load of these on. Get as much as you can. Is that gravel? Oh, that's gravel. A 
15, get some more. Oh, that's it, <laughs> 16. That, that should last me a while. Um, I don't think I've got a red power thing yet. Let me put it here next to marble. All things red power are going here. And there's some really cool stuff in red power. I've just got to say that it's it's an amazing mod. It's it's, it's like eight mods in one. If you have a look in the the list of mod stuff. So I'll just sleep through the night. Get some more rent. Still overdrawn. One more day, <laughs> and then I can build. Um, I'll build a big house um, just to get some rent coming in. So the first thing I want to do with the the red power pneumatic tubes, I'm going to pump the output of this chest. Well, this. Let me just turn that back on again. Um, all the ores that are processed through here go into this chest. So I'm going to pump that from there underground and over here where it's convenient um, into the ores chest. So I just need to dig a little tunnel, that's all. In fact I think it's lined up with it, that'd be nice. 319 Now it's not quite lined up, but it'll do. It's, it's two that way. So let me just have a look. So I'll just dig underground. I was going to try and keep everything as as much as possible overground, so you can just see how it's working. But um, sometimes it's it's good just to have a little tunnel going various places, so you can pipe stuff around. So that's the chest. I want to do. So if I go two to the left, get a bit dark in here. That should put me lined up with the uh, the chest that I want to out of. Using all the wrong tools. <laughs> I hate it when there's a mixture of dirt and cobble ice. Was it? I've missed it. Now I found the best way to figure out where to dig to is just like stand on on it exactly, and then just look at the coordinates um, on the mini map. So that's like uh, six three one nine. So if I go underground, down to six. There we go. I think it's that one. And there's the chest. Right, so I'll just fetch all the uh, the stuff that I need to pipe it over here. And once it's all done, you can just like put the uh, the floor back, and uh, everything's nice and neat again. So one transposer. So the transposers in Red Power, what they they do is uh, I don't think I've explained them. Um, they suck things out of an inventory. Now, most of the time that's a chest, but it can be any kind of inventory, which is quite a few things, really. So, um, I'm just going to need to turn it around. Um, now would be a good time to make a sonic screwdriver. Those of you into Doc 2 like I am will know that, what that is straight away. Uh, it works more or less the same, just like in Doctor Who, you just point it at something and it does something to it. 
So they're fairly cheap if I remember. Let's see if we've got the bits to make it. There's a normal s screwdriver as well, but that's like just boring. I've just thought though, I haven't got any power yet. Um, that's the sonic screwdriver, anyway. it's just a very cool uh, little device you can use to do all sorts of things with red power. Um, but as I haven't got any power yet, red power, um, I'll just have to have a, a, an old fashioned manual screwdriver, which is just a bit of iron and a stick. Of iron. I don't need that many. And a stick. Oh, I've got some wood. <laughs> Somebody's just fell over again. I'm not sure whether these wear out or not, but I think I'll have a sonic screwdriver by the time it does wear out. Uh, where's the iron? There we go. Which way round is it? There we go. So we need... I'll just move all these out of the way. Alright, back underground. So the, the transposer sucks things out and into a tubing. Um, so if I place that there... Now you see... That, there's a really big hole there, that's the input side and if you hit the screwdriver you see it turning round and that's the output side, you, you see it looks very familiar, it looks like a uh, like the dis dispenser from vanilla, so that's the way to remind you which way around it is, that's the output side and that will spit things out just onto the ground from a chest um, so that's where we want to put in the tubing. So I'm just going to dig a bit more around here because I need some space really. These transposers they need a pulse to actually actually send stuff out of the chest through the transposer and into the pipe. So it needs like a redstone pulse. Um, so I could just put a switch there and stand there flicking the switch every five seconds or you can use like various other ways as well timers and things like that so I'll probably make a timer for that but for now um, let's see I just need to make this tunnel a bit bigger otherwise I'm going to get stuck So for now I'll just uh, lay the pipe anyway. You'll see it's very similar to the Billcraft pipes. Um, it is a lot less laggy though if you use this and it's uh, for transferring items it's a lot quicker and it's smarter as well. Uh, the red, the Billcraft stuff will just uh, spill stuff all over the place if you let it whereas this is a bit smarter. It will um, it will send stuff back if it can't get to its destination or it simply won't pump it down in the first place so if, you, if it's not working you'll find out that you know, there's a pipe missing or it's the, there's a chest that's too full to accept any more stuff. So you don't need anything special to actually get it in. Once, once you've got the use the transposer to pump it into the pipe um, you can just pump it directly. Let's have a look. Might as well get rid of this as well. Just pump it straight into any any other chest or even a machine as well. Various things, various uses for it. That should do. And there we go. That will go into that chest now. So, like I say, we just need a um, timer or something like that. I think that's the only thing I can think of at the moment to make a pulse. Time is very complicated to make, I think, if I remember right. I'll sleep on it. Yeah, back in credit again. Won't be employing the miner just yet. So while we are in credit, I'll just 
How are you today? <laughs> I'm poor. <laughs> um, Good day to you. I'll build a big house Hello. over here. You're looking well. <laughs> I'm looking poor. Uh, let me just chop this down. Right, I, I made this a while, a couple of days ago. Um, but I didn't have any money, so I uh, couldn't build anything. If I hire a uh, rose, <coughs> choose residential, something large. That's fairly cheap. Large two story house. Might go with my large house. Cause we've got some wall now. Yeah. Might have enough glass. Uh, oh, I already put some stuff in here, that's handy. Got some wood and the glass and some that. Cobblestone. Probably need some more cobblestone. Right, I've got a bit more cobblestone. Not a lot, but uh, how many is it on this? Five stacks, oh dear. <laughs> uh, quickly, hire the miner. <laughs> Need some cobblestone. that just discard dirt that's on a million that looks like cobblestone <laughs> and gravel as well there we go cobblestone going in one nice thing you can do if you've got the uh, inventory tools just uh, middle click anywhere it sorts them into order so you can clearly see where the gravel is, where the cobblestone is and all the other stuff. It's quite handy that. I'm um, going to have to chuck some stuff away I think because I ain't got enough room in. Right so this is the uh, the recipe for the timer. This will basically just send a, um, a pulse however often I need it really. Um, they are quite annoying I find so uh, what I often tend to do is, is dig a big hole put the timer at the bottom and have it set it all up and then have a wire come back up to uh, pulse various machines that need pulsing but for now uh, I just need to make one it's <laughs> quite complicated the house is built I've been a bit more rent coming in so you need a lot of these stone wafers just uh, smooth stone but cooked um, so I need quite a few of those because all these are made from them as well and it's just basically combinations of redstone and these wafers and a pointer just redstone again and some more stone <laughs> so yeah let's uh, get a load of stone wafers I've got loads of stone already I think um, might as well use one of these. So it's just a, a further step. You, you cook the cobblestone into stone in vanilla and then stone into stone wafers in uh, red power. So we'll need for the pointer. I think I saw one of these, uh, the red stone things. I'll have one of those. Twenty credits. That'll do for now. <laughs> right, I'll just grab those. So let's see. So we need. They're just stone wafers on their own. And they're just 
stone wires, three stone wires. So three of those. I need two of these. So quite a messy <laughs> kind of recipe, but they they're well worth it. Oh, well, not three of those, that's handy. And stone cathode. One of those. What was the other one? The stone pointer. So that's, uh, just needs to get some stone. Oops, <laughs> chuck that down there. Bit of a hole in the ground there temporarily. So, a wafer there. Oh, I need another torch. Just, so just take that out and make a torch. I'll make a couple. So, final bit. I won't be doing this every time, it's just, just the first time I just wanted to show you. <laughs> Some of the recipes are <laughs> quite insane to make. Uh, level, multiple levels of, of just, um, constructing things. Right, let's have a go. So, a couple of regular wafers there. Um, there's a pointer in the middle and the cathode there. Two of those there, and the wires there. Hey, have we made a timer. So yeah, quite messy that. <laughs> but yeah, like I say, if you do it right, you can just have one of these timers deep underground, and then uh, red wire, redstone wire, uh, which does go a lot longer than. Uh, the regular vanilla wire so you can have it deep underground I'm not sure exactly how far you can do it but uh, yeah you can you can do it quite far so that'll be handy so for now if I just uh, let me just check I've done everything right <laughs> uh, let me just dig a hole here Sometimes just dig out a, a kind of cellar area or basement, uh, just so you can get certain piping where you want to to go. So you kind of just wire going to it. So you, you put the wire there, and then maybe have it going somewhere else. For now, I'm just going to throw it just here, which will look a bit ugly. You can see the stuff's being pumped out. I'll just check the chest actually. So yeah. Oh, I'll just throw that in there as well. So that's going down this pipe here. As you can see, it's a lot quicker than Billcraft pipes. And like I say, it is smarter because uh, if this chest fills up, it simply won't pump it down here anymore. So all my ingots will be uh, available here, right next to the crafting table, which is really handy. As a kind of this diagram on uh, the timer itself, it means it puts a red pulse out this side and out of this side, so I could use it for s several things. Uh, I think you can also supply a red redstone signal on this side, um, and that will stop the timer. It, should you want to do that, as you can hear, it's ticking away. When you have that set to a high thing using the interface. Um, that gets pretty annoying after a while. <laughs> you can see it's pumping out real fast, but don't really need it that high. Um, maybe every 10 seconds or so for now. But like I say, I'll, I'll dig a hole here uh, off screen, um, put the timer down there, and then I'll have some red, uh, some red power wire to uh, supply the signal. Because lots of these machines will need these pulses. So it's it's a good and handy to uh, 
to uh, have lots of them. So I'll just fill in the floor for now. I'll probably have a, a stairway somewhere just so I can get down there should I need to put any more wiring down. You can just see the stuff coming in. And then middle click it, sort it again. So that's the first bit of automation done. Everything that gets smelted eventually gets sucked out here. Might need to speed it up a bit, otherwise this chest is going to get quite full. Um, I'll probably do a similar sort of thing to pump the stuff into here. Can get some more coal for that one. I've got a way of pumping coal in as well. I might set that up. Um, again, red power tubing is smart enough to know that there's, there's already coal in these so it just simply won't uh, pump them in. I'm going to have to move them I think because I'll need to uh, pump the coal in from the other side. And there's a wall in the way <laughs> so I'll move that. I might move the aqueous accumulator down into the basement as well. Uh, I didn't get a chance to explain this before it's because uh, the fraps acted up a bit. Um, it's just a block that accumulates water and if you put water blocks next to it, it accumulates even more water. So it's, it's kind of like a, it's not cheating as such, but it is a infinite water source, so it's ideal for these steam engines and things like that. 